Welcome to Algebra Exit Ticket 32.2 Video Key. This is Mr. Ward, and let's go to it. So we're going to add something to both sides of this so the left side can be factored into a perfect square. Well, x squared plus 8x, that 8 comes from a 4 plus 4, so we need to get a 4 times 4 over there. So we're going to add 16 to both sides, so let's do that. Okay, so plus 16 and plus 16. Okay, and when we get that, we have x. That'll be, let me actually make that note. So add 16 to both sides. Okay, so you end up with x plus 4 squared. And that's going to equal 64. All right. So now we've got a perfect square structure here. We can get the square root of both sides. And the square root of x plus 4 is just squared. It's just x plus 4. And the square root of 64 is 8 or negative 8. Both of those are legit, so x plus 4 equals 8, and x plus 4 equals negative, equals negative 8. Let's put an equal sign in there. Okay, so I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides, so x will equal 2, and then x will equal negative 12. And you're done with that one. So let's take a and you've solved it. Those are the solutions. Um, okay, now we're going to deal with this one. x squared minus 2x minus 35 equals 0. Okay, so I'm going to copy this. And if I want this to be a perfect square on the left side, this number negative 35 needs to become the square of half of negative 2. Half of negative 2 is negative 1. If I square that, this becomes positive 1. So I need this to be plus 1. That's what it needs to become. I don't have to change anything about x squared or negative 2x. I just need to change something about negative 35 to make it 1. So the thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add 36 both sides. So add 36. Okay, and I'm going to add 36 over here as well. Now, I've turned negative 35 plus 36 makes x squared minus 2x plus 1. And on the right side, 0 plus 36 is 36. And so I can factor x squared minus 2x plus 1 and do x minus 1 squared, and that equals 36. And I'll be using that in the next one, as you might have guessed. So in 2b, I want to get the square root of both sides. So let's do that. Square root over here, and square root over here. All right, when I get the square root of x minus 1 squared, I get x minus 1. And when I get the square root of 36, I get 6. Or x minus 1 equals negative 6. So the square root of 36 is 6 and negative 6. So I'm going to add 1 to both sides. So x will equal 7. And x will equal negative 5. There we go.